Hey, beautiful souls, I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. How's everybody feeling after the Libra full moon? Like that one was pretty intense, but what I loved about it was that um, even though it was intense, it was almost like a peaceful release. Does that make sense? Like it was intense, but not as intense as some of the others that I've had in the last three months. Okay. This one, um, had a little bit of a softer release to it, which felt good. Okay. Um, there's been so much going on energetically, you know, it felt good to feel the release, to feel the energy flowing, still be in the flow of life, still having synchronicities, okay, but it not feeling as, I don't know why I want to say traumatic, I don't, it, it it just had a different feeling to it. Like, I'm having a hard time explaining it. So anyway, let's see what's going on with the collective. Let's see what's coming up today. 1.44 on my clock. Since we had that release of the full moon, there was a lot I know cleared for me in the fourth house. Okay, 1.53. There's... A lot coming up with home, the time to give rather than take. I feel this. Mm -hmm. A win-win outcome is in forecast. This one keeps showing up. So there's Venus. Time to take action. There's Mars, 222. Okay, so I've got Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Saturn. Bring love into the situation. Two, three, four. Okay, so definitely feel that. I definitely feel that, that love was really brought into that Libra full moon. Uh, love for life. Love for family, love for friends, love for um, everybody, right? But most importantly, um, we have to remember ourselves too, right? Love for ourselves, love for our own divine masculine and feminine within, and really bringing healing to that, bringing balance to that. Let's see what else is going on. Thank you. More Venus energy. Yeah, I mean, y'all, I'm, I'm really feeling it. Okay, 3.33 on my clock. Really feeling that just full surrender to the divine. Feeling that full surrender to uh, love and harmony, right? Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Perspective, zoom out. Oh, it's holding this up. Baby steps, portal energy. There was even more portal energy as well. And then right under that, I get cracked open. Okay, last night, I did get a message about um, more heart chakra purges. Okay. Some of you may be experiencing that. Some of you may be going through that. So it's vital to bring love into the situation for yourself when you are going through those moments. Follow your intuition before it even makes sense. Like 444. For sure. Also... Being able to, to see it from a higher perspective as well. K-1-1-1. 
okay, there could be a higher perspective that's needing to be seen with the masculine energy. Because it is right under Mars. Let's see if there's anything coming up from past lives. And um, last night I listened to David Palmer's Libra Full Moon video. And, you know, he confirmed some things that I've been seeing really for the last couple of weeks that, you know, we're, we're literally going through past, present, future timelines at the same time. You know, we're having those people come back into our lives that we've had past lives together with, okay, to work through karma. So, 555. You know, no wonder I've felt the need <laughs> to really focus on past lives because I do feel if we can look and pinpoint the timeline that we're looking at that's going to help us to navigate okay I do believe there's a lot of balancing that's happening with lessons and blessings okay we are planting the seeds for our karma so be very mindful of that stand on top of any of your spiritual hygiene, spiritual routines, meditations, really busting through um, fear of rejection, fear of being alone, fear of being left out in the cold, okay? And then what's holding this up? It's definitely galactic starseed energy, very healing, I want to see what animals pop up. I definitely can feel a difference in my drive. <laughs> Mars being in Pisces. Ooh, it's like, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. <laughs> One more, please. Thank you. Co-create with spirit. I'm feeling this. Okay. Um, really merging of the masculine and the feminine energies within. Because that's really what's been healing. Be fearless and bold. Oh, that's your spirit. Okay, so I've got eight, four, four. So 44, 55 has definitely been some double numbers that I'm seeing often. And this is cat spirit. Claim your independence. Okay, cats have been showing up quite a bit as well. And then what's under that? Oh. It's going to be another four. So I got four, four, four here. Surrender now, Moss Spirit. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, definitely balancing of karma right now, balancing uh, lessons and blessings at this moment. Continue working through any abandonment, rejection, fear, um, FOMO, okay? One more, please. Staying grounded, staying centered within yourself. Get ready for new horizons. I feel this. Definitely feel this. As we continue to balance those energies within, 
Trust that there's a, a divine plan. Ten of one. Yes. Embrace enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Don't you love it? Oh, and then what's holding this up is going to be cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. So there's definitely a lot of purification that's going on within our chakra systems. I'm seeing the heart, the root, third eye, crown. So and right now, like the deepest one's definitely going to be in that I meant to say the deepest one, but 1044 on my clock. That's going to be connected to uh, the root chakra. Fear, abandonment, rejection. Not feeling loved, not feeling worthy. Um, not really believing and having the enthusiasm to believe in yourself. But that's what's being balanced okay there there's definitely you know a lot of light and dark yin yang 1123 okay masculine feminine this is being balanced right now self-love is going to be key keep putting one step forward every day one step. That's Saturn. Okay? 11.44. All right, guys. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to get the Zodiac Stone for the week and have them scheduled to be uploaded. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you every day. We'll do an energy check-in. We'll see what's going on. See what's coming in. See what's being released. Uh, 12, 12 on my clock. And we'll go from there. All right. If this reading resonated with you and you want me to dive in deeper, my website's below. Love you guys. Bye.